like a multiplication of our money seed sown. If we don't sow nothing, he can't multiply. He's not going to multiply something that well, zero times zero is zero. Okay? So we're working with the Lord. We have a part to play. We have a part to play. Okay? Um, and something that I wrote last week, and we need to know this. Let me give you the scriptures. It's John 14 and 14. Yeshua said to us, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. He said that. I didn't say that. That's John 14, 14. He didn't shut up saying it. In John 15 and 7, he said, if my words abide in you, if my words abide in you, that means they're living there. He said, you can ask what you will. And it will be done to you. And you say, well, it will. all I can say is, this is what he said. If my words abide in, in you, that means they are dwelling, they are down here, you believe them. Because a lot of people just go around quoting stuff and there's no faith. Mm -hmm. There is no faith. John 16, 23 and 24. He said, up until this time, you have not asked the Father anything in my name. But he said, ask, A-S-K, ask and ye shall receive. Why? So that your joy may be full. He didn't want you to be happy. Just wants you to be happy. But, and by all of this, I see that he, he doesn't say, tell me what the problem is. He knows what the problem is. He said, ask what you want. Ask in my name. He said, the Father loves you just like he loves me. Ask. He said, up until this time, you didn't have no Bashem in the name. He said, but you do now. He said, you do now. So that's three times where he's saying, ask in my name, and it will be done to you. Ask the Father. Ask for what's in this word. It will be done for you. Three different chapters. He talks about it. So we see that he, he is wanting to work with us. And this royal priesthood, we are not coming in our own, own name, y'all. We're not coming in our own wisdom because we don't know nothing except worldly stuff. Worldly stuff. But we are coming, Bashem Yeshua. When we go through the open door for this year, when we step, we're not coming in our own wonderfulness. Amen. We are coming in the grace and the truth and the love of Messiah and in his name. And Father says, yay! Father says, yay! Okay? Because Messiah made us kings and priests unto Yah. So Father is waiting for his priesthood to get up and start commanding a thing. Start offering a thing. How are we going to make reconciliation? That Because that's one of our, our um, duties, if you, you will. Because we're ambassadors of this holy nation. That we'll talk about next week. Okay? But, gosh, just to get us to present our bodies. <laughs> oh, that's a big one right there. Just present our bodies. A living sacrifice. That, that's a big one. Um, underneath that... I wrote that the God that we serve, Yahweh, he is a speaking spirit. Do you, do you all hear what he's a speaking spirit? That's why he says the fruit of our lips is a sacrifice to him. It's a sacrifice to him because he's a speaking spirit. He's a speaking spirit. He's the one in Genesis 1 where it says, and Yah said, and it was. And Yah said, and it was. And Yahweh said, let us make man like us, so they can say, and it is. They can say, we're made in his image, and his image is he is a speaking spirit. So words are important to the Father. Words are important to the Father. Um, and he, he praised his own self. So you know that he expects praise. 
Remember when he, when he created everything? He goes, that's good. He goes, okay, you're good. You're good. That, that's good. See, he, he doesn't really need us to praise because he praised his own self before we were even created. He praised his own self. And he saw everything and he goes, that's good. That's good. But now that he made us and he sent his son to put us in right relationship with him, he expects the sacrifice of Christ. And not only that, but that's how his kingdom works. That's how his universe works. That's how, I mean, it's working the same right now. When he said, let there be light, and light continues to let there be. When he told the mountains, come up, and rivers don't go past that shoreline, that, that's what they're doing. Because he told them that. Amen. He told them that. But yet we're afraid to tell a tornado to stop. It will stop. I promise you it will stop if you do it in the name. Not doubting. I, I promise you. I promise. Or it will split and go around you. Because I've seen it happen. I'm going, do not come down out of that cloud. You know how they show it on TV? And I'm going, in the name of Yeshua, suck it back up there. And I see it go right back up again. I'm going, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And some, some people have said, just in this past week, it's too hard. All, all this stuff is too hard. No, the other stuff is what's hard. When you're, you're trying to pick up your life after a tornado has taken everything, that's hard. <laughs> to stand and say, stop, that, that is not hard. That is not hard. Because you're not stopping it. But it's his name that's stopping it. Okay? So, hallelujah, just know you, that's what we share in. That's what we share in. That's what we share in, okay? Um, number two. Yah is a speaking spirit was one of the things that uh, I said underneath uh, us being a living, breathing, functioning nation. Okay? We are trained priests, y'all. <laughs> we are trained priests. You may not think you're trained, but you're trained. You are trained. <laughs> Especially this group here. Amen. We're taught, this is leadership right here. If leadership doesn't get it, how do we expect the ones that are not here to get it? If leadership doesn't speak the right thing, how can we expect our children to speak the right thing? They don't even know how to operate in the kingdom because they don't see us operating. Okay? What'd you say, Catherine? Yeah. <laughs> Catherine knows how. But as tra trained priests, just like a trained pilot, a trained flight attendant. When I don't, when I get on that airplane, I don't do what I want to do. I do, I have got trained duties that have been trained in me for your safety on my airplane, and I begin to go down that list of things. If I had a bad day, that doesn't matter. I still have to go down that list. You better hope your pilot goes down his checklist. You better hope he does. Because he's trained to do that for safety. As a trained king and a priest, our service unto God and unto people has nothing to do with what you feel like that day. Amen. I have gone to work after people, loved ones have died. You still got to go through that checklist. You still got to check those doors. Or more people are going to die. You put aside what you feel to do your service. Okay. Why do we think that we can just come, and, or that we can just live, just, just live however we want to live? We are trained priests. And one of, of our training scriptures is Psalm 34, 1. All of these are training scriptures. But we are trained to speak the Constitution, and walk in the Constitution. And you say, well, that's not what we do in this nation. Talking about the United States. What they do, that's their business. We defend the Constitution of the Word. We walk in the Constitution. Anything that is contrary that we say to this Constitution, you're a bad priest. 
You're a bad priest because we are trained in this, okay? Psalm 34 and 1, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will. I don't feel it. I will. Amen. Kind of like from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. Well, but I lost my job from the rising. Is the sun rising? Come on. Did you wake up from the rising of the sun to you lay your head on the bed? His name is worthy to be praised. This is not a hard thing. It's not a hard thing, but sometimes we get so focused on the world and what's happening in the world that we forget that we still are living, we're still breathing, we're still walking, the terrorists haven't hit us, we got a car, we got a church building, we're not... Those, people, those Christians in, in Egypt are worshiping out in the street because their sanctuaries have been burnt to the ground. And they say, well, that don't stop us. And they ask for the Western church, pray for us. Pray for us that we speak boldly the word of God. And you're going, what the heck? They don't have, they don't have a cross. They don't have a, a sanctuary. They're holding services out okay. in the weather. Okay. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Perhaps if it were continually in our mouth, he would make our way prosperous. That's just a thought. That's just a thought. Um, some people have called the key of David uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Because he said, enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. That's the key. We, we shouldn't even be able to get in without Thanksgiving. The key of David. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Then you enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. And bless his holy name. Well, my, my children are not in my home. They're estranged from me right now. Are they alive? Are they well? And you say, well, they're not well. But if they're alive, so there's a chance for them to be well and be reconciled unto Christ. They're not laying in the street dead. Amen. I'll be thankful and bless your name because my child is alive and the angel of the Lord encamps round about him. I can, as long as they're alive, you can still decree a thing over it and Hallelujah. over them and it shall be established unto you. That's what the word says. This is a kingdom where we speak. As long as they're alive, you can say the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Do you hear what the Constitution is saying? Amen. Okay? We're trained priests called to walk in the light. Okay, see, it's a good thing I went forward because uh, we're going to talk about the holy nation now. I thought this would be for next week, but it's not. The holy nation that we're a part of. Yeshua said, my kingdom is not of this world. Remember when he stood before Pilate? He said, my kingdom is not of this world. He said, if it was, he said, I will call my servants and they will take you out right now. But it's needful for me to go through this. That's what he said. But yet we try to establish our kingdom in this world. And we forget about the kingdom that we are a part of. That we're a part of. David said, I would have fainted if I had not believed. <laughs> right there. I would have fainted if I had not believed. But to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We don't have to wait till we get to heaven to have heaven on earth. If we did, Yeshua would not have said, pray this way. As it is in heaven, so let it be on earth. We're supposed to bring the spirit, the heavenly, down. Because we're a nation within a nation, y'all. We're a nation within a nation. We're a holy nation. You know what that means? Separate. We are separate. That's what holy means. We're separated. We're in the United States, but 
And we, we are American, but our allegiance is to the holy nation. Okay? All righty. And, and that's why he said, don't be conformed to the world nation, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? Okay, to get into this nation, you must be born again. Everybody in here is in the nation. <laughs> okay? Everybody, he's, but just so you know that this is a holy nation, not just anybody can come in. Not just anybody can come in. Uh, matter of fact, Yeshua said, except you, a man be born again, you can't even see this kingdom, let alone come in.